Yes, you will. You just got to do it. Uh, we're here today with Gretchen Grunt, artist and proprietor of the 29 Palms Creative Center and Gallery, and I'm going to ask her a few questions. Hello, Gretchen. Hi. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready for your question? How long has the 29 Palms Creative Center and Gallery been in existence? Since August of 2003, when I moved here from the chilly coast to the warm desert air. Ah, and the center here is a working studio environment for artists of all ages. How old were you when you first started making art? As long as I can remember. My first memory is that I was about four. So, uh, so from the very been, beginning. It's been, yeah. Oh, yeah. In, in the past, I have booked private workshops for myself and friends for mono print making here. What is it that you like most about print making? Uh, well, working on the etching press is totally endless. You can do so many different techniques. What you guys did, the monotypes was just the most basic, simple type of printmaking. And then from there, you can do collaging, painting, drawing, scratching, stenciling. Um, and then when you get into the more technical stuff, you can get into the dry point and the etchings. And then I just learn solar plates, which is totally awesome. So to me as an artist, and I feel like being an inventor is really important, so you keep reinventing yourself. And the etching press allows me to keep exploring different methods, techniques, and it just constantly makes me reinvent myself. And it's very dynamic. And for me, since I'm also a painter, and painting directly on the canvas is just not the same as working with the press. Something magical happens in the press like you guys experience. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, everybody yes. does a print and you're just like, oh my god, I can totally see why you don't just paint on canvas because there's just total magic happens. That is for sure. And I uh, it happens every time you work on the press. Like myself, you're all over the place creatively and work in many mediums. If you had to choose only one medium to work in for the rest of your life, which would it be? Do I have to choose? Yes, it's like choosing just, my favorite color. I know, but just if you have to, but what do you think it would be? Or is that an impossible? That's impossible. I guess it would have to be collaging, like on your paintings, because it's like it's the the immediacy and the drama and the direct directiveness of it is really exciting. But then again, I like to destroy things, so I want to go in and fuck it all up with some drawing and painting or whatever, and have fun with it. So, yeah, that's another thing to choose. That's not a good question, no. It's a tough, <laughs> it's, it's a tough one. It's a, I think it's a tough one for any creative person. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite color? Well, right off the bat, it's always been green since I was a kid. Uh, my favorite um, leg warmers as a kid were green and hot pink stripes. Ooh, so I like vibrating colors. You can see what the chair the camera's sitting on with the orange and lime green and purple. And so pretty much um, color, a lot of color. And uh, what do you admire most in a friend? Honesty, sincerity, and direct directness. Uh, what about in a lover? Which one quality is most important to you? Uh, that I get the uninterrupted 110% attention. My kind of girl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite junk food? Um, you're, pretty, you're a pretty healthy person. I know that you're a pretty healthy person. Uh, lately, so. it's been Baby Ruth Bar. Baby Ruth. I was on this like whole juicing, cleansing thing, and part of the reason I went on it was because at 3 p.m. I was hitting the hitting the liquor store, since I don't drink anymore, I have to have something to buy, so hitting the baby Ruth bar is pretty hard, so I um, kind of weaned myself off, and then I got back in the hog and dolls with the dark chocolate, so. Chocolate. <laughs> what, <laughs> and uh, what was the last book that you read? Oh, um, it would be Stern Men by Elizabeth Gilbert, which I absolutely friggin' hated that book until the last five pages. And now I want to read it over. And actually, a girlfriend just asked if she could borrow reading it. And she's like, so did you like it? I'm like, yeah, until the last five pages. She's like, oh, no. Maybe I don't want it. But I was like, but I want to read it again. So it's one of those stories that had to take you full full circle. And it did. And it was awesome. And uh, name your favorite movie of all time. Um, first would be uh, You Can't Take It With You with Jimmy Stewart, and it's this wonderful Greg 
gregarious, fun movie that everybody in the whole world should watch about life and that it's all temporary and that we've got to hear, be here and live in the moment and love every moment. And if you're not, you got to figure out what makes you happy because that's what we got right here, right now. And the second I have to mention, though, is Baghdad Cafe. Oh, yeah, I love that. Because um, when I came out in, what, 87, 88, whenever that came out, Growing up at the 29 Palms Inn, it, all of us, when my brother Brock saw it in the theater, he called up all of us kids and said, you guys have got to go see this movie. It's our story of the characters that were always coming into our lives off the road, off the desert road, and coming and staying for however long, sharing whatever crazy part of them that they had, whether they're artists or just people that like to hang out and be spaced in the desert. Uh, who is your favorite hero in fiction? Favorite hero in fiction? Oh, uh, Pippi Longstocking. Oh, I love Pippi Longstocking. I love those braids. Uh, what talent would you most like to possess? Which what? Talent. Talent? Musical. I really wish I had musical inclination. Unfortunately, I'm musically declined. If you but I can dance. Oh, well, that's good. Me too. <laughs> Rhythm's important. <laughs> If you could never have salt or sugar again, which would it be? Uh, sugar. Okay, if you could never have Because everything has sugar in it, though. This is going to so. be tough. If you could never have alcohol or coffee again, which would it be? Well, alcohol's already done. Right, so that's... So, yeah. coffee, I do drink. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years from? Uh, well, I hope to be right here at the Korea Center, Yay. teaching classes and changing people's lives, making them want to move to the desert and become artists. I'm totally evangelical, so I want everybody to be an artist, and then, like I said, if you can't take it with you. Um, do you have a motto, and if so, what is it? My motto? Well, I've been wanting to make bumper stickers that say I work hard for my play. <laughs> I've been painting all your freaking walls for the show. <laughs> I'm like, ah! Waking up with arms that are asleep. Right. I'm painting the walls. So I, I work hard for my play. It would be it. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Yay.